Well, welcome to my Learn Adventures tutoring YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. This is your tutor, Figure Storm. Today we're doing the last segment to frames, and we'll be talking about the nature of the members of the frame. Okay, now just to get right into it, the nature is such that if a member is facing compressive. Compressive forces We say that that member is called a strut But if it's facing tensile Then we call it a tie Okay, you can always remember by saying TT Tensile for tie and then the other one is just a compressive one a strut. It's a easy way of remembering it now how we're going to do this is that to know each member, we're going to have to take each member. For example, just to get straight into it, member AE, this member over here. Okay, so we we'll isolate that member and we go and stand on its far left. So if I put my, say, my pen right there on its far left, if I'm standing there, and then I move in a clockwise direction, meaning that way, okay? So if I move on a clockwise direction, I'm moving from A to E. That's moving on a clockwise direction. From there, now that I know that it's AE, I go to the force diagram and I look which direction AE is moving. So AE is moving from that way to that way. It's from there to there. It's moving this way all right so I take that very um, that very direction and I place it there where I was standing okay and then I just to balance the force I put the equal but opposite um, direction now what this member is doing is that it's it's trying to pull itself apart okay it's trying to pull itself apart which means it's facing a compressive a compressive force that's making it a strut so we go there and we're gonna write strut okay the next member is ed where is ed ed Okay, so that's that member ED. It's that member there. And then we go to its far left. Its far left is right there. We move on a clockwise direction. We're moving from E to D. Okay, now that we've, we've established E to D, we go to our force diagram. There's E and there's D. So moving from E to D, we are moving on that direction there moving that way okay i take that direction i put it right there where i was standing okay and then i balance it okay so what's happening here this member is trying to push itself together that means it's expressing tensile forces okay and that's that makes it a tie so we go right there the nature is such that it's a tie the next one is ef okay there's ef so it's that member there okay we go to its far left its far left is over here okay and then we move on a clockwise direction and we hit f e so we go f e we've established that we go to our force diagram there's f right there and there's e so it's moving that way Take that direction, put it right there where we were standing, and then we balance it. Okay, so what is it doing? It's trying to push itself together. That means it's experiencing a tensile force, thus making it a tie. Okay, the next one is FB. All right, FB, where's that member FB? FB. Okay, that's, so it's that member there. We go to the far left, we 
which is right there of fb okay so we and we go move clockwise if we move clockwise we're moving from b to f we go to our force diagram there's b and there's f right there so from b to f we're going that way okay so we take that direction put it right there where we were standing and then we balance it okay so what is it doing well it's trying to pull itself apart that means it's experiencing compressive forces thus making it a strut a strut okay the next one is f g remember f g f g okay so it's that member there we go stand on it far left right there and we move clockwise so we are moving from f to g we go to our force diagram there's f and there's g so we are going that way we take that remember we're standing there that direction and we put it right there and then we balance it so it's expressing itself by pulling itself apart therefore it means it's experiencing compressive forces thus making it a strut next one is gd all right there's g and there's d so it's that member over there gd we stand on the far left of it which is there then we move on a clockwise direction so we're moving from g to d and we go to our force diagram we look for g there's g and then there's d so we are going we're moving gd we're moving that way so we take that direction we put it right there where we were standing and we balance it so the member is actually trying to pull itself together Therefore, it means it's, it's experiencing some tensile forces. That's making it a tie. Okay. The last one is GC. GC, so it's this member over here. We stand on the far left right here. We move clockwise. We're going from C to G. If we go some c to g we come to our force diagram c to g is moving that way it's going that way we take that we put it right there where we were standing and then we balance it so it's trying to pull itself apart that means it's experiencing a compressive force thus making it a strut and that right there is how we determine the nature of the members of a trust. Well, I hope you understood that. Thank you very much.